Hello, this is a tutorial on another brick. Which one is it? The RSS brick, that's the one we're going to use. This one here. And this is where you can pull feeds, RSS feeds, into um, your web pages. So, um, what I'm going to do is just create, uh, what I'll do is I'll just put another three column brick on the top of here. And then um, I'm going to drag the RSS block into this, but no speak feed is specified. So an RSS feed is basically an aggregation of links or messages sent out um, from a website uh, by whomever. They're all over the internet. You'll recognize this icon, I'm sure, if you haven't used them before, but here you can actually start to use them. Where these might be really good is for um, uh, you know, the latest news and reading in a particular subject to help the students read around the subject. Now you can see here what it's looking for is an RSS feed. So the question is, is where do you find a good RSS feed? Um, well, I'm just going to go and search for one, and I'll let you know. Okay, I found one, so I'm going to go and use it here. I can't go onto the internet um, using this brick, so I'm just going to click on cancel here. And while that brick's active, so I'm just going to go onto Google. Um, and in Google, I'm going to search for a geography RSS feed, like so. Um, and then it's working out what is an RSS feed. Um, so I'm going to go onto this National Geographic Society press room, which might have interesting um, sort of up-to-the-minute news, etc., for the geography uh, teachers. And it um, asks to connect somewhere or other. Here we go, the press room RSS feed. You can also follow them on Twitter. Twitter can be like an RSS feed, so if a company is, um, or a newspaper or a department or a journalist or whatever is releasing tweets, um, you know, and they're doing it seriously rather than taking the mic, um, then you, you can use that as an RSS feed and embed that into um, into your web page. But we're just going to use this proper feed. Now when you click into the feed, um, it looks a bit like this, okay, which doesn't really necessarily make a lot of sense. But what it wants to do, you want to just take this feed at the top and copy it. And then we go back into our page. You can see I've done it already. And there it is. So you just paste that in there, and you can publish data for each item, show item descriptions, number of items to display all, uh, you could just have the last five, um, and then the characters to display per item, things like that. In the advanced tab, um, you have different options that you can choose, um, and when it updates and open links in new window, etc. Um, you could have a um, scroll frame. I don't know what that means really. But you can see what it looks like. You don't have to even have to preview it, but if you do preview it, it looks like that. So um, then students can see uh, great photographs of the American West and um, they can go and click on it. So finding the good R RSS feeds is the key, ones that will attract attention and then you can refer to them in class for the first five minutes as a starter or something like that. Or you could ask students to, to pick an article and review it um, uh, in a forum or something for homework. Um, so, so that's RSS feeds, and they're very simple and easy to use. I use BBC Click technology ones in ICT and things like that, encouraging the children to read around the subject um, and giving instant access to articles um, that they might just click on. They're just kind of hanging around there, and it's other people are creating the information. It's very quick and easy for you to just bring it into somewhere. Um, if you have a homework activity, for example, they might just see something that they recognise on here. Um, they can be a bit tricky RSS feeds to find the feed and put that into um, into your um, area. So let's go and do another one. So if I was going to do um, something for ICT, I just go and have a look at technology RSS feeds like that, um, and then I'd look at so there's Computer Weekly, not very likely to um, entertain my students, but the R the Wired one might be um, for the Wired magazine. And you can see on that that's RSS feed. So that's, so that's top stories, um, the how-to wiki, um, or the product reviews. Let's do product reviews and see what that is. And then I would copy this. You can see it's um, similar, but not the same to the one we had before. I'd bring another RSS feed in here and double click it. Um, paste the feed. Fingers crossed it's going to work. Click on OK. And here it does. And you can see they actually look the same. And you can't tell here that it's wired. So I would, um, if I was actually using this, I would bring in a little text and pictures um, brick and probably put a logo, a logo for Wired magazine in there. Um, font size, three, bold, center. OK. So I would do something like that. 
um, you might want to use uh, the collapsible container. This is I'll just do this while I'm here. Um, is if you go to structure and you pull in the collapsible container into here, and then you can just drag that bit into the. So you can do this stuff really quickly. So you can drag that into the collapse state, and drag that into the non-collapsed into the expanded state, and then when I preview it. Um, I'll just get that little thing there. If I click that, it'll give me the RSS feed. So you can see the sorts of things that you can do. Um, uh, that's it.